everybody this is Ross and uh, today actually felt like spring it really did it's uh, March 2nd yet yeah, today felt like a really warm day in May um, so spring is definitely coming and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about planting some of my spring crops and we're still not technically in the spring because to get a spring crop you have to plant in the winter time um, and our spring here in this location, the Philadelphia area, is really quite short. So if we don't do this now, uh, we're not going to get to really experience much of the spring crop. And uh, I think it really does help with these winter blues that we get. Um, we haven't grown something for so long. If we can get something in the ground now, um, it really helps get rid of those blues. So we're going to be transplanting. I have some leftover sugar snap peas. Um, I have another tray right up there and then I also have some arugula seeds that I'm going to be direct seeding into this bed and then we're going to cover it with mesh. I'm probably not going to have time today. It is kind of getting cloudy and it's getting dark and I have other things to do today. Um, so I'm not going to have time to do the mesh but the mesh will go on here simply to warm up the soil and keep these, these plants away from the wind. That really helps with transplanting. Um, and that soil temperature, raising that up any, any degree that we can, is really going to help get these plants off to an earlier start this, uh, this winter time uh, for the spring. So it's really important, I think, if you're doing this as early as I am, you got to do it under mesh. A big recommendation. It's actually a really affordable product. We're just going to tie it down with some rocks and it's going to keep these plants nice and happy. Uh, we do have some sugar snap peas that we planted in our cold frame over here. Um, and the cold frame obviously is getting them nice and warm and it's also protecting them from the wind. Um, but I'm out of room in there. And I have all these extra sugar, uh, sugar snap peas, so I figure why let them go to waste? Um, I think we should, we should use them. If not for the peas, let's use them for the shoots because the peas come in a bit later um, but the pea, the shoots you can kind of just harvest right away. So it's pretty simple how I'm doing this. Coming in here from the bottom, we'll take out a bunch of these plants. We'll transplant them in for you guys. We're, I'm just really squeezing the bottom and then lightly tugging on the top. Squeezing the bottom is letting that soil kind of pop out of the tray. And uh, we've talked about in other videos how to do this and I definitely recommend these these trays this is 128 cell trays it really makes this job of seeding a lot easier I have two sugar snap peas per cell I'm just gonna get a couple more for you guys we'll transplant these out then we'll move on to the arugula it is gonna rain tonight and you can kind of tell by the sky right now uh, so it's a really good time to be doing this kind of thing before rain it really really does help that way you don't have to water these these things in and uh, it's just like another step that you don't have to kind of go through um, so pretty nice garden hack I guess you could you could call it um, now this bed has already been prepped you can kind of tell it's looking pretty good we amended this um, this bed should do really well for me. It's really nice well and well broken down. If you're using things like compost, that's really, really important. Also, it's gonna retain a lot of moisture in here uh, because we do have a lot of rain throughout the season. Um, and also, this has got some really good material in it, like um, even some, some of our native clay and just really good compost and things that can hold water really well. So you want something that's well draining that's also going to hold a lot of water. I know that sounds a bit ridiculous. It's kind of hard to uh, grasp at first, but we're going to do the sugar snap peas, I think, here. So I'll start about right here. And I'm just going to plop these in like every four inches apart. Plop that in. <clears throat> I 
pop the next one in four inches apart. And if you guys missed the video on the bed prep, it's really important. We did that one yesterday. So go back and watch that video because it's not just about planting this stuff. There's so much more that kind of goes into this, you know, in terms of getting this bed ready to go. Um, that's really crucial because if you don't have the right bed prep, you don't have the right materials in your bed, you don't take the time to do all this this right from the beginning, you're gonna sort of regret it. Um, so big tip there. And basically I'm going about, this is about a foot here, another foot. So I'm doing two square feet, uh, no, I'm doing a six square feet here of sugar snap peas and then right next to it is gonna be the arugula. I've got my seeds here, I've got probably two different varieties. There's. Quite a few varieties actually of arugula. And there's some that are probably a bit tastier, a bit more tender. Um, I don't remember which one I've been growing, to be honest with you. I have to go back and look. But I have one here from Burpee, I have another one here from Fedco. And there's one I think I got from Baker Creek that I've been using. And that stuff's just really, really tasty. Way better than the store. I'm just making myself some trenches with the hori hori. Pretty simple here. Four inches apart. And we're just gonna do rows of this stuff. I'm doing about four square feet of it. I'm sorry, uh, 12 square feet of this stuff. And if I get about I don't know, say about, about 12 square feet, really. I think that's enough to feed me a salad of arugula, of just arugula, every day. Um, and that's for months, because uh, we're planting this quite soon. I would expect by maybe even April, and sometime in April, I'm gonna get my first harvest. This is like, you know, it's really, uh, this is 35 days here, and this one says 47 days. So I would expect probably 45 days, considering how early this is in the season that we're doing this, I would expect 45 days. So probably sometime by mid-April, I'll be able to harvest my first arugula, and that will get me, a, again, a salad every single day of this size, this many square feet. And uh, it's really, really tasty, guys. As I've said, I just think arugula is my favorite by far. Um, and I don't really want to grow any other lettuce. It's just, yeah, you can get yourself a nice salad blend of different things. But uh, arugula has so many uses. It's so good. I mean, what I like to do with my salads, guys, I'll get myself the lettuce, I'll uh, saute up some onions, mushrooms, whatever else I wanna put in the salad, saute that up in olive oil and some salt, maybe a little bit of garlic, and then I'll uh, throw that in with the lettuce, get myself some quinoa, combine all that together, mix it in well, maybe add some vinegar, some lemon, you can get a little creative with it at that point. And uh, it's just really, really tasty. I'm gonna use this smaller packet here. I have so I have such a large thing of arugula. This is uh, four ounces of seed because I I just love it so much. I figure, you know, what, what am I doing? I should just buy it in bulk. And this seed packet doesn't want to open, guys. All right, so we made our trenches. That's it's pretty simple, right? 
Then we're just gonna come in here, get ourselves some seed. Anyone can do this, guys. We're just gonna pretty much seed this pretty darn well here. And I'm gonna get you guys a close up here in a minute, so just be patient. But I'm gonna densely seed this. A lot of this is going to germinate. I probably don't need all this. But you know. This stuff can grow pretty darn close together. Um, and what you can do is really just treat it as like a cut and come again type thing. Is that I'm going to basically be cutting this back multiple times and I'm just gonna you know fill this in and that's it I bring you guys in for a close-up well that's a bit weird but fix the angle here of the camera you know what we're gonna go handheld here guys you can really see down in there how densely this is planted and you know what this is probably a little too dense this the second time around I did it less dense you know first time seeding something in a while guys right but uh, we're going pretty dense with this stuff and that's that's sort of it you know is that we're coming in here and we're filling all this in and uh, it's gonna germinate so well because it's gonna rain the soil's got a nice moisture as it is uh, we got the right temperature in the soil these crops like to be grown at this time of the year and we're gonna be off to a great start eating plenty of salad so uh, yeah get the mesh on here and we're gonna call it a day at that point I want to thank you guys for watching this one Pretty simple, right? I mean, <laughs> it's really all in the bed prep. If you guys can get the bed prep down, you don't have to really worry about this other stuff. You know, putting seeds in the ground is pretty simple. Check out the video that we did yesterday and uh, it'll show you everything I did to prep this bed so you guys can do the same thing for yourself. And we'll see everybody, all right, for the, for the next video. Again, check us out on Fig Boss, Facebook, and Instagram. We'll see everybody soon, all right? Take care, guys.